It is finally time to talk about the capital rating system and how you will be attacking in the new update. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't watched any of the previous sneak peeks, be sure to check them out and learn more about the clan capital and the new troops coming in the update. I'll link those videos in the description below. Today we have sneak peek number four and it's all about how you battle in the new clan capital. This new feature is called capital raids. Raids are epic battles where clans will battle other clan capitals this is not like a war system where you're pit against total stars against each other, but more like multiplayer matchmaking or farming in a sense, where you get matched against other clans participating in the raid weekend. Once your clan three stars all the bases on the map, then your clan will get matched with another clan participating in the raid weekend. This process will repeat until raid weekend is over. Don't worry, I'll explain a lot more within this video, so stay tuned. You may ask yourself, how can you attack in the clan capital? Well, attacking only occurs on the weekend, which will begin every Friday and end on Monday. This is called Raid Weekend. You cannot attack during the week. The only thing you can do during the week is friendly challenges against your own clan capital to test bases, which does not give you anything in return. But once Raid Weekend starts, you will no longer be able to send friendly challenges within the clan capital until the whole Raid Weekend is over. Clan leaders and co-leaders can opt your clan in to participate in the Raid Weekend. You don't have to opt in at the very beginning like Clan Wars. You can opt in in the middle of the weekend or even in the final hours think of it like a window of opportunity for your clan to join and once you do you'll be able to be matched against a clan to battle you are matched like a multiplayer system where you're attacking another clan but the enemy clan you're matched with is not going up against you so think about it like a legend system where you're going to be doing leg your legend attacks and the players that you attack in Legend League are not going to be the same players that are going to hit your bases so it's essentially the same thing with the raid weekend your clan will be matched based on levels of the building in the clan capital, so you will be matched against other clans that are similar to your clan capital. The goal is to three-star all six districts and then finally the capital peak. In order to do this, you must work together as a clan. Each person will only be allowed to attack five times over the whole raid weekend. But if your attack is the attack to three star and finish off a base, then you'll be rewarded a sixth attack to do again later at any time you want. But you'll only be able to get that sixth bonus attack once every raid weekend, meaning that you can't get a seventh attack. So you only have six total attacks no matter what. If you use another one of your attacks to three star a different base, you will not be rewarded that seventh attack. So try to let a clanmate of yours three star a base if you have already done it so they get the extra attack. You must attack all the districts first and then once you triple all of them, the capital peak will be unlocked to attack. And once you triple the capital peak, then your clan will be matched against a whole new clan and you'll repeat this whole process, but you won't get five additional attacks more of your clanmates will then have the opportunity to hit the other bases in that new clan that you're facing. Also note, you can only play in one clan capital each raid weekend. Think of it like clan games. So you know that if you start clan games in your clan, then you're not allowed to start clan games in another clan. But once a new clan game starts a few weeks later, you could do it in a different clan or whatever you want. This works the same exact way. Once you start your first attack in a clan capital, you are locked to only being allowed to attack with that clan in their clan capital for that raid weekend. You can leave the clan to go check out other clans to see how they are doing in their raids, but you will not be able to attack in other clan capital. How do you earn capital gold? Each building that you destroy in a raid will give you capital gold. If you are the player to destroy a district, any remaining troops either in your army below or deployed on the map will give you additional capital gold. So if, you have a, if you're about to three star base, Keep as many troops alive as possible in the end. Each one alive will give you extra capital gold based on the housing space. Swag spells will not give you additional capital gold, so feel free to always use those. You can then use this gold to help upgrade your capital gold. But let's talk about the actual attacking mechanics of the clan capital. The damage done in capital raids is persistent. This means when you attack a district and you don't three star it, then your clanmate will be able to pick up right where you left off. For example, if you were able to get a 50% two star on your attack, when your clan may attacks that same base, they will start off at the 50% two star mark already on the scoreboard. Think of it like you and your clan mates are working together at a three star base. Also, traps on a base will not rearm between attacks. 
So any traps that were triggered by the previous tech will not activate for any attacker in the future on that same base. Finally, spells will remain for one attack after they are cast. For example, if you drop a healing spell when your clanmate attacks, the next attack will have the same healing spell in the exact same spot for their troops. You may also ask, is there a difference between being a tunnel 14, 11, a 9, or even a tunnel 6 in the clan capital? The answer is no. Every tunnel level 6 and higher will be the exact same when it comes to attacking. This means every player can use the exact same troops and spells as each other. So if a tunnel 6 joins the clan, they can attack the clan capital with the same troops a tunnel 14 can attack in the clan capital. For example, if your clan has unlocked the new flying fortress, then any player can select the troop and use it in the clan capital. Players will not be able to use that troop in a different one, so it's only in that clan capital that it's unlocked. Heroes are not available in the clan capital, and no troops from the main village or the builder base are brought over. Your clan must unlock the troops within the clan capital to use them. When the first player attacks a base, the deployment zone to drop a troop is small to start. You can only drop a troop towards the bottom of the base in a certain area. You can't drop troops in like the main village all around the base. The clan capital is different, but once you start the attack and destroy buildings, the deployment zone will start to increase. This increased zone will allow attackers after you to have a larger area to drop their troops for their attacks but you must be destroying all the buildings in that area and not the defenses ahead of it. So if there's like many houses, you have to destroy those as well to open up the area. Now let's talk about defenses. The layout of your clan capital can be edited in the clan capital layout editor. Only a leader or co-leader can edit a layout of a base. If you change the layout during the raid weekend, then the change will only go into effect the very next raid weekend. Once the raid weekend concludes, your clan will earn raid medals based on how well your defenses held up against enemy attacks. So let's look at a raid result screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. As you see here, I was awarded 1,036 raid medals. If you notice, I got zero defensive raid medals only because this is the dev build and there was nobody attacking my base since there is a limited amount of players testing and just didn't get matched. But that won't be the case in the actual game. Then as you swipe through the screens, you can see how many attacks each player did with their capital gold earnings and the raid weekend results.